Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 89 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're taking another load of logs down to Port Angeles, Washington. Let's get into it. And... It's a good thing I checked my intel report that I received because at the end of the last episode, I said we had to drive down here and there was possibly a hidden road that went off this way. I was wrong. It's right here. And I think we hang a left here and go right. Anyway, we have to pick up here. So we're going to go pick up here and then come back down this way. Should be interesting. Hopefully I don't get lost. camera out that far. Alright, I think we can go around this building. check too and see if there's a mod out there if like in farm sim there's a mod that well I guess there's no collision on that then why does it zoom in sometimes and it sometimes doesn't anyway scratch that train of thought I just had I guess I could put that trailer axle up Did it go up? Yep. Is my truck down too? No, truck is up. Turn left. After 100 yards, turn right. Turn right. to turn left, ma'am. Actually, let's do this. I don't think there's anybody coming, was there? No. I also tried to get that blinker issue fixed today with no avail. I did manage to somehow get zero sound inside the truck whatsoever to include engine sound. Yep, we are on the right path. See the dotted line up there on the GPS? The GPS? The GPS? The Gypsus? Huh, well look, if there's a sign. Truck route. Yeah, anyway, I don't know. I have no idea about the sound. I probably need to just take everything out, save my config files, uninstall the game, reinstall it. I don't know. But I'm running Zmod's interior sound mod, which would be for, like, base game trucks. And then I have his... Kenworth interior sound mod, his Peterbilt interior sound mod, and his Freightliner interior sound mod. And I don't think we go left, do we? Huh. I don't know. I'm going to go straight, see what happens. I have a feeling, yep, we are supposed to go left. And the reason I had that feeling is because I'm looking up there, that 
road basically goes to nowhere. Okay, well, I'm just going to continue pushing you back, car, because you're... There. Don't mess with big Karen power. Look at that. I just created a... Look at that power in that Cummins. We'll just stack them up. There you go. Y'all figure that shit out. I didn't even get a ticket for that. And there's a cop there, too. I do have my fines on. So anyway, I pulled out Keep right. all of those mods. So then I just had the sound fixes pack mod in. And for some reason, I had zero sound inside the cab. Even when I started the engine, nothing even left those mods out, rebooted the game, came back in, still nothing. At that point, I was freaking out. Luckily, I did all this on my test profile, which is why I have a test profile. Oh, the question is... How many times am I going to run into something here trying to figure this out? I think I go right here. That same car is behind me. Oh well, we'll go right here see what happens. Oh, not into that stop sign. Good lord. And I don't need to be trying to take off in five high either. All right, well, that was a good call. Yeah, so anyway, bottom line is I don't know why the blinker issue is still messed up. But I did get sound back on my test profile basically put shit the way I had it. Um, I haven't tried rearranging the sound mods, which didn't do a damn thing, so. Just something I'll have to live with, I guess. Supposed to go left there. And this truck is going to get backed into. As I was just saying, too, I didn't realize that this was going to be asphalt the whole way. Well, it's not.
just scratched the hell out of my hood with that branch right there that was hanging over. It's nice. Loan payment. I guess I could keep that bottom bar up there. I don't need the, I don't need the gypsus there though. Good lord, the branches just want to screw the both sides of my hood. I guess they match now, so... I'm really also glad I no longer have that G29 steering wheel. N no offense to anybody that does, but... Even with headphones on, I could I would be able to hear the, the plastic gears clanking back and forth on this gravel road that used to drive me nuts. Which, as much as my blinker issue is driving me nuts, that should probably not be a surprise to anyone. For those that are wondering that have never been up in these parts on this map, the uh, actual road that the GPS wanted us to take up to here isn't any better, I guess. It's gravel, just like, I mean, like you would expect going to a lumber mill in the uh, forest. Oh, wow. We are, uh, let me get out to this camera. No, this camera. That's quite the drop-off down there. I'm assuming there's probably a collision, but wouldn't that suck if you actually tumbled all the way down and then had to call a tow truck and start all over? Now that I have this fancy camera, I could probably do this. Oh, look at that view, huh? Eh, I don't mind the shitty textures there on the side of the mountain. Those were probably state-of-the-art seven years ago. I think we're getting close to our pickup point, as a matter of fact. thing I have this drone camera huh? have arrived. Oh, I can see CSC, SCS is at it again with having a loaded trailer full of finished lumber up here. Sad part is I have to go up here and check in somewhere. That may be straight ahead where we have to back in to get loaded. Alright, I'm just going to go up here. Yeah, because that's where the check-in is.
That's funny how they can put all that green stuff in and get wood chips out of it. Being too technical again? My bad. Sorry. I mean, when you have simulation in the game, people, let's, you know, anyway. I know. I'll shut up. <laughs> Who the hell am I kidding? No, I won't. Cargo. Marquette. Take job. Cargo is ready to be loaded. Oh no, over there. Okay. Still have to back up though. And then try and bend this around. This big girl. Maybe like a four or five point turn here. Bear with me, folks. We had a fresh clock when we left. We had like 13 hours and something before we have to sleep. Now we have 9 hours and 56. Can I get away with doing this, please? Pretty please. need to get this to where it's going to give us the green. That's all I really care about. It's probably going to make me pull up again, though. Yep, it apparently wants me further over to the left. Alright, fine. Game. Or they slammed that logs on there, huh? Cargo has been loaded, thank you. Grassy ass. Or gracias, however you want to say it. Oh wow, it must be heavy because she just started rolling. Right, nine hours and 48 minutes left to sleep. Four hours and 35 minutes to get there. Get 
pissed. It's just the game being stupid. Alright, there we go. Alright, I need to check to make sure those axles dropped. They didn't on the truck, so let's take care of that. And there we go. We're good to go. Okay, now this is odd. This is the first time this has happened on my sim dashboard screen. Sim dashboard and the Truckee app actually match for weight-wise. Okay, there's a viewpoint that we're, that we're not stopping at, just so you all know. Because that takes like an hour to do. And honestly, here you go. This is going to take like 30 seconds. Oh, don't run off the... Holy crap, I damn near ran off the cliff. Alright, let's... How about we concentrate? It's probably just a better idea, huh? Yeah, so this road... As I said in yesterday's episode... I came up at night. I would advise against that. And where we come out at, I actually missed that turn. And I want to say, I think I was pulling one of those long-ass low boys, too. Why aren't you wanting to... Oh, because I freaking... Dumbass. Um, excuse me? The hell did I hit there? Imaginary rock. Hard telling on this game, honestly. I will say, though, that with all these trees... I adjusted the uh, scale rendering or reflection. 
one of the two. Reflection scale. Back down to one. I had it set to two. But I'm noticing at one, especially around all these trees, it's not, well, there we go. There we just had a strobe effect, but anyway, I don't know. Kind of testing things out, I guess. There it is again. Like, what in the hell are... Okay, and we're still flashing and strobing. Halfway down this, it looks like. <laughs> Gotta love it, folks. see anything popping up damaging the truck which is good if it was I'd probably be more frustrated but anyway little waterfall. Yeah, so you can imagine how much fun this would be in the middle of the night. It's not at all.
Really? I'm guessing it's so dark at 6.43 because of all the trees shading, what little light is left. What are, what are you guys doing out here? Yeah, and as y'all can see, this this little road here is not marked very well at all, especially when it's way darker than it is now. Yeah, so if you're not actively watching your GPS screen, it doesn't take much to miss that. And as you can see, it's pretty narrow here. There's nowhere to easily turn around. This works. I put in a 
I think it's called longer traffic lights. I don't know, it was on the Steam Workshop. It has like a five star rating, like tens of thousands of people are subscribed to it. It definitely ups the time for green turn signals. I remember that. And I think it does for green lights as well. And it ups the time for yellow lights so you have longer to get through them. Anyway. See how we actually made it through that time, so I guess that is working. back to the shop once we get to Port Angeles. Put the banner and flags back on, which I have to pay for, which as I've said before is completely stupid. Anyway, put the banner and flags back on and then uh, loads or how long those trips are going to be. I'm sure they have some pretty long ones, but with this gear ratio, I don't want to... I mean, these aren't highway gears. We're maxing out like 60, 65. If I remember correctly from yesterday, it was 60 miles an hour at 1500 RPM.
keeps me people come through. The uh, ferry is waiting on me, so apologies for cutting the line. That guy back there that was wearing that, that brown shirt, that uniform, he gets around a lot. He seems to be in a lot of places. Make sure I don't get too close to this prime, prime truck. He's liable to open his door and scuff my paint. Time to ride the ferry. Um, can I rephrase that? Time to take a ferry ride. That doesn't really sound any better, honestly, but... Man, that's a fast ferry. Look, he's on this side too. Holy crap. How does he do that? left. After 50 yards, turn left. Turn left. Here's another test. Can we get through here without it turning yellow? Yep. It's working. Too low. Let's try this again. Did that same damn maneuver just a minute ago and why it didn't work last time.
also, I just realized what have, what would probably have helped me not miss that shift last time is I'm not splitting the low range. Which I could be, since I have an 18 speed. Wow, that was a nice haul. 39,178, good job. Elena, Elena, however you pronounce it. We're getting into hiring another driver, buying another truck territory there. I mean, I've got, we've got two open slots. Whoa, okay, good lord. I may need to lower my sensitivity, not sensitivity, truck stability and trailer stability some more. I thought I had it at 25%. 25%, but I feel like taking that corner at that speed with this weight and these logs, I shouldn't have been able to do that. And I believe I just saw another message about the customer. We have an hour and 48 minutes to get there, and we're 17 minutes away. Call him back and tell him that. Well, probably not, because then they won't unload me, so don't tell them that. I'm not going to blame the mod on that. That was kind of my fault for taking off slower, but that's definitely a longer light. So again, I need to update my mod list for those wondering that may have just found the channel and if you're watching this far into the video thank you if you're not subscribed think about it I mean it's a damn good time over here if you ask me go straight anyway I need to update my Google Docs link because I have all my mods that I'm running currently listed in that in the exact order I have them as well. Go straight. So, if you wanted to purchase the ones that are payware in there and set a profile up exactly how I have it, it's right there for you. And I believe I put in the document, but it should be, you know, common sense, which I know is not that common nowadays, but if you don't have a mod, just skip it and squish everything together, if that makes sense. Go straight. If you don't have the mod, just skip it, move on to the next one. And if you pay attention to it, you can see how all of my truck mods... Well, my map stuff is at the bottom, which is just Montana Expansion. Then I have my trucks, then I have my trailers. Then I have my skins, my wheel packs, all of that crap. So everything's categorized the way it should be. I think I need to lower my brake intensity too. Those grab kind of quick. I mean, semis grab fairly quick. I don't know. That may 
maybe pretty good. I had to get on them binders pretty hard to get her to slow, slow down that quick. If anyone caught that on the dash. After 100 yards, turn left. I was in six high there, that's why I didn't take it. Or didn't turn like left. it until I dropped it to six low. Georgia Pacific. You have reached your destination. Oh, right here, huh? Okay. Yeah, hey, let's back a load of logs into a dock. Makes about as much sense as, oh, I don't know, unloading cattle. Thankfully, there's people like Recon Lobster out there that just love doing map mod stuff that are trying to fix this. So at least for his Montana expansion, when you pick up cattle or grain or whatever, you're actually going to pick it up where you would pick it up and you're going to deliver where you would deliver it to in real life. Hey, Ty. You have like a football field and a frickin' half. And you still effed up that setup. Well played, sir. Well played. But you know what? We can fix it. Don't worry. We can fix it. Just gotta bend it over here a little bit. Bend her over here. I should, Okay, I may, probably need to change my wording on that about bending her over. And for some reason, I know I'm 49, but the Akon song smack that just <laughs> popped into my head when I... <laughs> now I kind of want to listen to that, as a matter of fact. And I really hope it's Akon. I think it is, because I don't know too many of that genre of singers. Anyway. My wife's going to be proud if I actually nailed that with Akon, smack that. She's going to be so proud of me that I knew that. See, I fixed it. Didn't even have to do a pull-up. Which, if I would have had to do a pull-up... Anyway. Alright, lights. Um, can we get the... Thank you. Truck. Don't hit that. You on the trailer. Excellent. That's the way it is around here at Shit Show Logistics. Excellent. I got excited for a second. I thought I leveled up. Then I realized I did last time. Right, so, here's what is probably going to happen. I won't bore you folks with it, but we have two hours and 38 minutes to sleep. So, when you see me in the next episode, I will be starting right here because I'm going to drive over here repair the truck and sleep and then I'm probably going to release my trailer which for those that I don't know somebody may be new here never done this before in order to get rid of your trailer you just go into trailer manager select it and hit dismiss as a matter of fact do you really want to store this trailer in the garage yes and there you go. And it put it in Tucson. Now, for example, let's say I don't want it in Tucson, right? Why do I want that trailer in Tucson? I want that in Seattle. So you just do that. Okay. And there your trailer is now in Seattle, which it makes sense, right? 
Perfect. Up to 742. We're getting close, folks. I want... So a truck is 145, roughly. It's 144 and change. So 145. And then 1500 to hire a driver. And we actually have three more slots we can we can do. Oh, look at that. There's 11% productivity with two of them. That's pretty good. This is the one here that... I'm not going to hold it against these folks, though, because... And again, for those that don't know, Jordan, Montana. I may as well just show you, just in case somebody doesn't know. Jordan, Montana... Right here, Hell Creek Ranch. This was put in by Recon Lobster, who's doing the Montana Expansion 2.0. He put that in. He's working on Montana 200 between, I want to say, Missoula and Great Falls. He's done a bunch of stuff. He's put in, where's that? He's put in this big equipment. He's done a bunch of stuff, actually. There's there's too much to list. And then he put Bovina here, too, which is a Hell Creek facility. Hell, Hell Creek feeders. And then he also, I know of one other one off the top of my head, in Bozeman, he put a Bozeman cold storage. I don't know where he put it though. It's not popping up. Anyway. But those are just some of the places that, that he's actually added. Oh, and then up here in... Uh, where am I? Oh, Shelby. Good lord, Ty. Welker Farms. If you watch them on YouTube. He put all that in. And this... I can't remember what video it is, but I think it's in the title. I actually do a tour of this on how it's scary how awesome he got that. And that's the dealership they have, too. So, anyway. All right, I'll shut up. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 89 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Let's do it. And don't forget to drop a like on the way out. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.